Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to your family in your YouTube channel. Today is December 20th, 2024. In today's video, I'd like to share with you how to correctly select and use potassium fertilizers. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, check out right here. Just in front of me, you can see four bags of fertilizers. They are all potassium fertilizers. So basically, on the left side, the first two bags, they are pretty much the same. It is called monopotassium phosphate. In the middle, it is called potassium sulfate. On the right side, the big bag, it is called murate of potash. So basically, I have three different potassium fertilizers. So today, I'm going to explain to you how to correctly select and use all these different fertilizers. So first, let's explain to you what's the potassium benefits of potassium fertilizers. Potassium is one of the three major nutrients for all the plants. Potassium can encourage plants for vigorous growth. It can help plants to grow big and stronger, especially for stems. Potassium can enhance plants' stress resistance, especially for disease or drought. Potassium can also increase the quantity and quality of the crop. So basically, it can increase the fruit size and the sugar content, make fruits bigger and sweeter. Okay, so first, let's get started from this bag. So this one, it is called monopotassium phosphate. The NPK ratio, it is 0 52-34. That means it does not contain any nitrogen, but it contains really, really high phosphate and 34% potassium. So basically, I used this potassium fertilizers many, many years ago. So basically, it is pretty safe. I use this fertilizers for any kind of flowering and fruiting, you know, vegetables and fruit trees. So basically, here, you can check out right here. You can use for foliar spray and a soil drench. But usually I just use a foliar spray because it can use less, you know, this kind of chemicals. So basically the final concentration, I just use 0 0.2 to 0.3% of solution for foliar spray. So if you use for soil drench, it might use more, you know, the chemicals. But sometimes I just use 0 0.2, 0 0.3%, you know, foliar spray and also use that solution for just, you know, soil drench. So one thing I want to mention you, this chemicals is really, really expensive. So basically this is two pound size. Right now the price is $48 for just for this bag, two pound. Really, really expensive. This one is the most expensive in all these three different, you know, fertilizers. So basically, just I mentioned, I, most of the time I use foliar spray. It really works because it contains really, really high phosphate. Phosphate can boost the blooms. So that's why I use this one for just before or during blooming season for any kind of uh, vegetables and uh, fruit trees. So this is really, really expensive. This one, actually, it is exactly the same as that one, just a different brand name, but relatively cheap. So this is right here, one pound. It is $16. So that means if a two pound, I just need to spend $32. But this one is $48. So actually, right now, I have not opened, I have not used it. Hopefully, it has the same, you know, the benefit as that one. So based on the customer rating, not so many customers rating this one. So hopefully, it works. So this is monopotassium phosphate. So this one is called potassium sulfate. Actually, it is also called sulfate of potassium. SOP. So basically, this one you can see NPK ratio is 0, 0, 0,050. It contains 50% potassium. It does not contain any nitrogen and phosphate. 
So this is a one pound right here. $15. Actually, it's not cheap. So basically, compared with this one, it's one pound. $15, $16. So here, I would rather you check right here. So basically, without soil analysis, so I already opened this one and used this one for vegetables. So basically, it can be used for foliar spray. They show right here, 0 0.5 or to 1 teaspoon per gallon water for foliar spray. If for soil drench, you can just double, kind of like a one, or oh, actually it's not double, one to two tablespoon per gallon of water. So that means you need more this kind of chemicals for soil drench. So that's why I would rather use a foliar spray. So as I mentioned, this one contains potassium and sulfate. Both are very important for plants. So basically, if you know Epsom salt, so basically it is a magnesium sulfate. Both contains sulfate. Sulfate is one of the, you know, the minor nutrients. It is very good for the plants. So anyway, so I use this one for some vegetables. For example, you can see right here, I grow some white radish. You can see some white radish is kind of root vegetables. You can see at the bottom of this, you know, the plant, you can see some of the white radish. So I just for foliar spray on the leaves to increase the tuber. So this is really good because it does not contain any phosphate. So basically the white radish, I don't want it to bloom. I just need some tuber to grow big and bigger for food. So this is potassium sulfate. I'm going to use this one for some vegetables, also for some like fruit trees, especially after, you know, blooming season when, you know, the flowers already began to set fruits and the very tiny fruits. So I can use this one for foliar spray to increase the fruit size. And also when the fruit get bigger and bigger, turn color can make, you know, the fruit begin sweeter. So this is the potassium sulfate. Okay, the last one is called murid of potash. So the MPK ratio is 0, 0, 060. Murid of potash is also called potassium chloride. So you can see here 60% potassium. This fertilizer has two major, you know, characteristics. One is potassium can be really, really high, 60%. You see, Right here, potassium sulfate can only reach up to 50%, but this fertilizer can reach to 60%. Another thing, this bag is really big, five pound, only spent $18. So this fertilizer is relatively cheap. In all these three fertilizers, this fertilizers is relatively cheap, but Unfortunately, I'm not going to use these fertilizers. You can see here, I have not opened. I'm going to return these fertilizers to Amazon company. Why? Let me explain to you. So basically, just I mentioned, these fertilizers is really, really cheap. Five pound, $18. These fertilizers actually is pretty heavy when I hold it. Highly high solubility it's very easy to solve it's solution great actually just like that one all these fertil two fertilizers very easy to dissolve in the water this one can be used for dry and spray foliar spray solution but i'm not going to use it because you know why okay so basically i don't trust it right here even though this is very decent company you know why? Let me explain to you. Because this fertilizer is called chloride, potassium chloride, which contains really, really high salt. Because a lot of vegetables and fruits are chloride sensitive. 
because it contains very, very high salt. So what kind of vegetables? So most of the vegetables such as pepper, tomato, eggplant, cucumber, melon, any other, you know, vegetables are chloride sensitive or just moderately, you know, sensitive. So I really don't want to take the risk to use these chemicals for all this kind of, you know, the plants, the vegetables. And meanwhile, as you know, I love citrus trees. I have a lot of different kind of citrus trees, such as lemon, orange, mandarin, tangerine, grapefruit. All these citrus trees are chloride sensitive. It is not recommended to use this kind of potassium fertilizers. So that's why I really don't want to use this kind of fertilizer, kind of like a take the risk, because we are not a professional. So, but I just want to mention you, in farmer, they use a lot of this kind of potassium for vegetables because they are professional. And as I mentioned, this kind of potassium is really, really cheap. So that's why they use a lot, but I'm not a professional. So I don't want to take the risk to use this kind of fertilizers for all my vegetables and the fruits. So I'm going to return this fertilizer. Just as I mentioned, probably some gardeners, they don't know exactly how to use these fertilizers. Maybe they don't know. They never heard of, you know, chloride sensitive plants. But anyway, I just want to mention you, be careful when you use this fertilizers, potassium, even though it is really, really cheap compared with all these fertilizers. But be careful, you have to make sure you use the dose, the level properly. If you don't know, you have to search online, make sure you use correctly. Otherwise, all this, you know, chloride can accumulate in the soil, can damage the leaves of the plants. So guys, today I already show you three different forms of potassium fertilizers. I would rather use the first two. One is monopotassium phosphate. The second one is potassium sulfate. I'm not going to use murate of potash. It is called potassium chloride because it contains salt. A lot of vegetables and fruits, they are chloride sensitive. If you don't use properly, the salt, you know, the content may cause some damage to your plants. Okay, guys, if you like today's video, please give us a thumb up, like, share, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.